Welcome to part 3 of this CODM tutorial. In this video we will learn to add more complicated stops like duplicate or borrow stops, multiple ranks per stop, mixtures, extending compass, changing pitch and celestis. We start with an example of a duplicate or borrowed stop. We want a cornet on the third manual but want to make it playable also from the first manual with a separate stop but using the rank in the third manual. The cornet is a discant stop, so I can show how to set up that in this example too. We start with adding the cornet of the freezer organ to the third manual. We do that in our CODM file the same way as we learned in the last video. We have to add the rank first. We copy the principal 8 rank, duplicate, and change the parameters to that of the cornet. The rank ID. Here we can choose whatever we want, so let's take 30. The name, it's a name we choose ourselves for our own reference. We call it manual 3 cornet. For the number of pipes and the MIDI note number of first pipe, we have to check the sample folder. Since the cornet is a discant stop, it doesn't start at key 36, and we have to check which note is the first note. We find it in 2213, here's the cornet, and as we can see here, the lowest note is MIDI note number 55. From note 55 up to the highest note in our organ, number 96, would be a total of 42. So number of pipes is 42, and the first MIDI note is 55. The sample installation package ID is also here 2213 for the freezer organ. The main sample file folder, they are in the A0 folder. Just copy and paste. And the same for the release file folder, the R0 folder. The short note release samples. R1 with 200 milliseconds and the medium note release samples R2 with 500 milliseconds. Since we want to use the wind model in our organ, we change the division code here to that for manual 3, and that should be 4. The output bass pitch. Since the cornet is based on an 8 foot, we will set this to 8. We will leave the rest of the parameters as it is for now. Now let's set up a stop for the third manual. We go to the stop table. Let's duplicate our principal 8 stop. And change the parameters to that for the cornet. The stop code. Let's check in the database table. Stop, stop code. And here we can see that manual 3 starts with 23 in the code. So let's call it 2301. The name, the name we can choose ourselves. Manual 3. Call it. The display name, that's the name that will be shown on the controls page. Cornet. We will leave the rest of the parameters as it is. Now we'll have to add the stop rank. We go to the stop rank table. We can duplicate this one again. The stop code. That was the stop code for our cornet was 2301. And the rank was number 30. We can leave the rest of the parameters as they are. We don't necessarily have to change the first key and number of keys, which we find here, since we already did that in the rank table. Let's save and open in Hauptwerk to check if everything is right. We will open the organ from the Design Tools tab. And here we see something wrong. If there is an error in your CODM, Hauptwerk will show it here. Two or more stop rank 
objects have matching name attributes principal 8 manual principal 8 let's check principal 8 principal 8 so we have forgotten to change our name let's change it to manual 3 cornet let's save again and we try again it's smart to save often and to open your organ often. If you get some uh, errors, it's easier to find them. And now it works. The cornet, let's load it. Here's our cornet. And it sounds as it should. Now we can make a stop to play the cornet from the first manual. We don't have to add a rank since we will use the rank from the third manual as a borrowed stop. We just duplicate the cornet stop we just made and we'll change some parameters. Stop code 2301 was for the third manual, but now we have a stop we want to stop on the first manual, which should start with 21. 21, 2101 we already used for the principle, so let's call it 2102 and change the name to manual 1 cornet. We can change the display name so it shows it's a borrowed stop from manual 3. Now we have to connect our stop on manual 1 to the rank in manual 3 in the stop rank table. We duplicate the stop rank from the cornet we just made and change some parameters. Let's start by changing the name. It's now for manual 1 cornet and give it a name that shows that it's a duplicate from manual 3. The stop code is 2102 for our first manual stop and the rank is of course still 30 from the third manual. Now let's save and open it in Hauptwerk. And here we can see the cornet shows up both in manual 3 and in manual 1. And here we can play the same rank from both manuals with their own stops. We are going to make a viola 4 by transposing the viola 8 of the Friesach organ and a bassoon 32 by transposing the bassoon 16 of the Rotterdam demo organ. If we want to transpose a rank, we have to change two parameters in the rank table. The MIDI note number increment and the rank base output pitch. The MIDI note increment from pipe to sample should have been called from key to sample. Here we specify which key will play which sample file. If we leave it at zero, key 36 will play sample file number 36. We want to transpose our 8 foot stop to a 4 foot, so we want our lowest key, which we specified as number 36, to play not sample number 36, but one octave higher, sample number 48. So we change the parameter to 12. Now Key 36 will play sample file 48, which is an octave above key 36. We will also have to change the bass output pitch for that of for a four foot. And as we can see in the database table, a four foot should be 16. Let's change it to 16. Since we started with sample 48, the highest octave has no sample files. But Hauptwerk will fill in the missing notes automatically. Now we will change the other parameters. This is already a copy of the principal 8 rank, so we can just change whatever we need to do. The rank ID, I will just give it number 21, the name, manual 2, viola 4. It's a freezer organ, so the package ID should be 2213. Now we can just copy and paste the sample folder names of the viola 8 to the CODM file. And here they are. We'll change the division code of Winchest to 3 for manual 2. 
we will leave the rest of the parameters as they are for now. Now we can set up a stop and a stop rank. We do this the usual way by duplicating an existing stop and change the parameters. So this is a duplicate of the principal 8 stop. The stop code, since this has to be at manual 2, we have to start the stop code with 22, as we can see in the database table. We call it 2201, and the name we can call manual 2 viola 4. The display name viola 4, of course. Then we have our stop. Now we have to make a stop rank. The name manual 2 viola 4. The stop code we chose was 2201. And the rank ID we chose for our viola 4 was 21. So then we have everything. We can save the file and open it in Hauptwerk. And here we see the viola 4 appears here. And we have it here in our stop list. Let's check it. And here we have our viola 4 foot. Now let's do the same for the Bazaar 32 that we will make from the Bazaar 16 of the Rotterdam demo. First we have to add the required installation package for the Rotterdam demo organ. We just duplicate one of the existing ones and then we can change the parameters to that for the Rotterdam organ. For that we have to find the installation package of the Rotterdam demo. The Rotterdam demo organ has four installation package folders and we have to find the one that contains the files for the Bazaar. And that's 1305. As we look inside it, we can pedal, we can see it here, the Bazaar. At the bottom of the folder we will find the installation package definition file. In here we will find the information we can copy into our CODM file. The first thing we have to know is the installation package ID number, that is 1305. So let's change it here to 1305. The name, the short name, the package supplier ID, that is number 5. The name of the package supplier and the minimum package version 145. So now we have our installation package for the Rotterdam demo for the Bazaar. If we want to use a stop from the Rotterdam demo organ that is in one of the other folders we have to add a required installation package for that folder. Now we'll have to add a rank for the Bazaar. We can use this rank from the St. Anne's that we will not use anyway. We can keep the rank ID at number 1 and change the name to Bazaar32. The sample installation package ID is now 1305, as we know. And for the sample file folders, we will look into that now. As we can see here, there is a pedal AB. But there is also a pedal RE. And if we now look to our Rotterdam organ, you can see there is a front and a rear perspective. In our folders the RE is of course the rear and the AB is the front perspective. We want to use the front perspective, so we'll have to copy from here. As you can see here are the release sample folders and they have numbers 200 and 400. That means the release sample time in milliseconds we can use these numbers here 200 and 400. And the release with the, all the nines is the main release sample file folder. This whole folder is the main sample file folder. 
which we will use first. We have to copy everything that comes after the installation package folder number. Let's copy it and paste it in our document. The release sample file folder, that's this one as we found out, the main release sample file folder. The short note file folder, that's one with the 200 of course. And here's 200 already, um, medium release samples. So in this folder, and that one says 400, so we will change this to 400. So there are our folders in place. Now we want to transpose this one octave down. So we have to change this MIDI note number increment to minus 12. So that key number 36 will not use sample 36, but sample 24. We don't see sample files lower than 36 right now, but Hauptwerk will generate these automatically. We also have to change the rank base output pitch, and for a 32 foot it has to be 2. We leave the rest of the parameters as they are for now. Now we'll just have to make a stop and a stop rank. We'll just change this one. We'll just keep the number. Hello. 32. The display. There's our stop. Now we have to make a stop rank. Just change this one. Stop code 2001 and our rank ID number was 1. So this should be all right now. Let's save it and check it in Helptwerk. And here we see our bazaar. Let's take up the volume a little bit and check it. There we have our 32 foot. Now we will add the Quintaton 8 of the Dingerstedt demo to our organ. As we can see here, the Dingerstedt surround demo has three perspectives, direct, diffuse and rear. We want to use both the direct and diffuse perspective in our organ. Each of these perspectives will have their own rank and will be combined on one stop. But first, we have to make a required installation package for the Dingerstedt organ. For that, we need the installation package definition file in the folder that contains the samples of the Quintaturn. The Dingerstedt organ has two folders and the one with the Quintaturn is 1815. The samples are often in a folder called pipes that is for a lot of organs. And here we can see the positive, and here we have the three perspectives for the Quintaturn. Now let's go back and find the installation package definition file. Here we can find the parameters we need in our CODM file. We'll just jump forward, and here is our required installation package for the Dingerstedt Quintaturn. Now we will have to add the ranks for the different perspectives. We will make one for the direct perspective first. We give it rank number 22, manual 2, turn 8, direct. The number of pipes. We want our organ to have 61, but the Dingerstedt organ has only 56, so we have to extend the compass to 61. The only thing we have to do is write 61 here and Hauptwerk will automatically fill in the missing notes. MIDI note number of first pipe, which is actually the MIDI note of the first key, is of course still 36, the lowest key on our keyboard. 
the installation package is now 1815. And now we'll have to find the sample file folders for the direct perspective of the Quintateur. We go into the pipes folder in positive. And we see here three different perspectives, LR, RE and ORTF. LR is diffuse, RE is rare and ORTF is direct. It is not always easy to know which perspective the files are since they often don't use the same names as the perspective names in Hauptwerk. We want a direct perspective now, so let's open the ORTF folder. And just as in the Rotterdam organ, we see folders for the release samples with the release time in the name. That's always very nice. But there's another strange thing here that we can see in some other organs too. The lowest sample has number 24, which is not consistent with the lowest key number of 36. So here we have to do some adjustments in our CODM file. It's important that we do it the right way, otherwise the samples can sound a little weird. First we'll insert the sample file folder names. And then we have to change the MIDI note increment value. Do not change the MIDI note number of first pipe value. It sounds logical, but since this is actually means the MIDI note number of the first key and not pipe, it is still the same lowest key on our keyboard. So in the MIDI note increment value, we have to tell Hauptwerk that if we press key number 36, it should play sample file number 24. And we do that by changing the value to minus 12. The rank base output pitch should still be 8 for 8 foot. Now we only have to change the division code to 3 for manual 2. Now we will make a rank for the diffuse perspective. We just duplicate this rank and change some parameters and the folder names. We call this 23. Diffuse, and we will change the folders. And here are the right folder names with the right release times. Now we will have to make one stop for the quinta turn and two stop ranks that combine both ranks to the one stop. Let's duplicate this stop. We will give it stop code 2202 it's on the second manual so it has to start with 22 and the name is quinta turn that's the stop and now to the stop ranks we will make one stop rank for the direct rank Here, stop code was 2202, and the direct rank had rank number 22. Now we can duplicate this one. And change it to diffuse. The stop code is of course the same for the want to use the same stop, but the rank ID is now 23, which was the diffuse rank. Now we can save it and open it in Hauptwerk. And as we can see, both ranks for both perspectives are here. We have to enable them both, of course. And here is our quinta turn. The CODM has no mixer, but we can adjust the levels of each perspective in the rank voicing screen that we can find here. The direct here and the diffuse here. Now we will add a voix celeste to our organ. 
First we will add the gambe 8 from the Friesach organ and then we will add the voix celeste made from the Friesach gambe. We will do that by tuning it slightly higher. We start with adding a rank for the gambe and a separate rank for the voix celeste, both with their own stop and stop rank. And here we have the rank for the gambe 8 from the Friesach gambe 8 with rank ID 24. And here's rank 25 for the Voix Celeste, also with the samples of the Gambe 8 from the Friesach organ. And here is the stop for the Gambe 8, 2204, and the stop for the Voix Celeste, 2205. And here is the stop rank for the Gambe 8, stop code 2204, rank 24, and the stop rank for the Voix Celeste. 2205 and rank 25. What we have to do now is to tune the rank for the Voix Celeste slightly higher by changing the values in these two parameters here. Normally somewhere about 7% but you just have to try and listen what's best. It would be very time consuming to try out by saving and opening the organ for every adjustment so we will open the organ in Hauptwerk and try out our pitch adjustment in the rank voice screen. Here's our organ with the gambe and voix celeste and when we play now we will hear they are at the same pitch. So now we'll have to tune the voix celeste slightly higher. We press the high mouse button and go into the adjust voicing. And here we see the voix celeste. Amplitude tuning, all perspectives, overall tuning sense. That's the one we want to use. And we use the master. We uh, said it was mostly about around 7%. So let's try this. And let's hear now. Maybe we want it a little bit higher. Let's say we want to use this one, 9%. So now we can go back to our CODM file and we can just fill in 9. Save and load the organ again. So here's our organ again, and let's check our voix celeste now. And it's perfectly as we wanted to have it. Now we're going to add a mixture to our organ. We will use the samples from the mixture from the Rotterdam demo. As you can see, I already made a rank with the samples from the Rotterdam organ. I also made a stop and a stop rank. And I also added the required installation package for this folder 1304. The only thing we have to do now is to find out what the rank base output pitch is. For that we'll have to find out what the lowest pipe on the lowest key is. We can do that by opening the Rotterdam demo organ and listen to the lowest key. Or you can listen to the sample in the installation package. Let's do that. And after listening to that, we find out that the lowest note is based on a 1 1 third foot. And in the database table, we find that a 1 1 third foot has the number 48. So we can write in 48 here. Let's save the file and open it in Hauptwerk. And here we see the organ with the mixture. Let's check if it sounds right. Seems right so far. And here it sounds wrong. It seems the pitch is not right. Let's check the Rotterdam demo organ and check how it's there. Mm -hmm. 
And now we can hear that the mixture has its first repetition at the F-sharp, the same note where it started to sound wrong in the CUDM organ. In the CUDM organs we normally have to change the bass output pitch for every repetition. We have to do that in our CUDM file by making separate ranks for each repetition so they can have the right bass pitch. Then we combine the ranks later with the stop ranks. But let's first listen to the mixture in the Rotterdam demo and find out where the repetitions come and on which note they are based. The first one is based on the two foot. The second one, again on the F sharp, based on the two to third foot. And the next one, also on the F sharp, based on the four foot. And the next one, the next F sharp, based on the eight foot. And that was the last one. Now we can go back to our CODM file and make it the next rank. But first we want to rename the first to mixture 1. We also have to change the number of pipes. That would be 6 from C to F. And the MIDI note number of the first pipe or the first key will still be 36. Now we'll add a rank for the next part of the mixture. We'll just copy this one and change parameters. The rank ID, we call it 12 for the, the next number. And the name, mixture 2. The number of pipes will be 12 now from F sharp to F. And the MIDI note number of the first pipe, which should be the first key of this part of the rank, which is the F sharp of the great octave is then 42. It's important to set this parameter right, if not, Hauptwerk will repitch the samples with wrong results. And the rank base output pitch should be at 32 for two foot on this part of the rank. We will also have to add a stop rank to connect this rank to our mixture stop. We change the name of the first one to mixture 1 and the second one to mixture 2. The stop code will of course be the same because we want to use the same stop and the rank ID is now 12 for the second part of the rank which we just made. Now let's save and open in Hauptwerk. Here we have both ranks for the mixture, we load them both. And now we'll contest. That sounds right. Let's check with the file. Sounds right. And the first one, just to double check. And here we are. Now we can add the rest of the ranks and the corresponding stop ranks. And here we have all the ranks for the mixture. The first one, number two, three, four, and the last one, number five, which need to have 16 notes, and eight foot, number eight, as output pitch. And here are the stop ranks, all with stop code 2103, with all their own ranks. We'll save and open in Hauptwerk. And here we see all mixture ranks, we load them, and let's listen to it. And there we have our mixture. Just a little tip at the end of this video. When you load many ranks, it is advisable to disable the wind model from the organ settings tab. Organ preferences, wind supply, disable 
wind supply. As long as you don't have adjusted the parameters for the wind model, you can get some unwanted results when you load many ranks. Especially if you have multiple ranks per stop, for example when you use multiple perspectives for surround. That will double or triple your wind demand. 